Yeah, so I spin it inward. Okay, I just got this, opened the box, and did a real side start. I always go through and I always check and check everything. I like, there's a screw magnet to the motor there. And then I get around to this side, there's another screw stuck to the motor. I don't know. This, and the screws are in a Ziploc bag, so I don't know how they got on there. But I just couple got out. I, gotta, I guess I gotta check the inside body and everything too. Make sure no screws fell anywhere else. But they were all in Ziploc bags, so I don't know. So this is the Recon 7. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than the Recon 5. You put them on top of each other. You can see there's a huge, huge difference. It's also a lot more powerful. You can carry a big line like 6,000 milliamps and a GoPro no issue still fly around perfectly fine it has a polar camera because they don't have nebula pros anymore it has the vertical antenna in the front which it's supposed to be you know great for reception all over the place but i still found that when i turned sideways this mount used to be up here this was curved up so you know it would get between the arms. It was up level with the arms. I didn't like it. <laughs> I melted it. It's lower now. It sits under the body. So I find when I'm turning and stuff and it just seems to have a little better reception when I'm turning now. But the front antenna is supposed to fix that. When you turn it, it's always supposed to be hanging low. But I don't know. I was just having some issues that it still dropped down. I did some testing, covering the antennas the best I could, front, back, foil, stuff like that. And it seems like it does switch antennas. Your RSI 1 and 2 both will read just one antenna. But it does seem like it does switch antennas. Um, I mean, the fail safe wasn't any different if I covered one antenna or the other. But definitely, I think I do it with all my, my drones. This one, too. I melted the front mount so it hangs low but below the drone. And I got rid of the top. I got rid of it uh, being up and down in the front. I didn't, I didn't really see no difference as opposed to having it sideways in the front hanging low. Because when I turn around, you know, the only thing is when you get the no points on the no points. But I still seem to get the no points on this one. When I turn, it'll drop drastically when it gets to the no points, even though you have this antenna here. But it's got an air unit on it, so you can record right off the drone. Off, uh, most of my recordings that in the video will be just recording with the polar camera to test the batteries i don't want any any differences any stuff i didn't put a gopro on for testing the battery i did uh a lot of tests a bunch of different props see flight times all without an action camera all trying to go the exact same speed so make it as fair and even as possible uh these are the ones i settled on for now they're the hq seven by three and a half by three they seem to be the most efficient. I haven't tested the, Go, uh, the GemFan 735s yet. I heard those might be a little more efficient because they're a little lighter and someone said they're a little less powerful. So they might be a little more efficient, but I haven't tested them yet. These are actually pretty good. I've gotten flight times as long as uh, 38 minutes. It was like 28, 29 minutes with the GoPro. Um, this is cruising at, uh, was it 30 miles an hour? I think I did, uh, I think I was cruising an average 30 miles an hour when I did 36 and 38 minutes, uh, different props. Um, the, um, the GPS is really good on this. Um, it gets satellites. I don't know if it's as good as the Maytech one I have on this one, even though it is bigger antenna. It just could be different days, different weather, that it, it doesn't seem like it's getting to 20 satellites like the other one usually does. but. It's really good. It, it locks on the satellites pretty quick. You don't have to wait very long. It's not like when you had the Explorer, you had to plug in a battery, let it fucking sit there for five minutes trying to get satellites. It gets them pretty quick. I got the two straps on there. The thing is, the drone is very, very front heavy, though it doesn't 
look like or feel like it, but the middle of the props are here. So if you put a battery in the, in the middle, it ends up being more toward the front than the back. You have to kind of make sure the batteries are kind of pushed back because when you look at the black box, you'll see that the front propellers are always spinning a higher percentage than the rear. So that means the drones like has to make more power to keep the front up. So when you just when you put batteries on, just try to keep them toward the back the best you can. Uh, it also seems like with this air unit, it gets better range than my uh, mini, my other one with the Vista. Um, I've run this at less milliwatts and I haven't lost reception going out further than I've gone with my Recon 5 and the Vista. I don't know why. I don't know if the Vista is getting hot or overheating or, or just maybe the antenna mounts a little loose, vibrates a little more. But this one seems to definitely get better range than I get on this one. All right, the other thing uh, I forgot to mention is you'll notice that I put these uh, pads on, landing pads. I also put a tape here. Um, the cap sits at the bottom, but I don't know if you can't see in the camera, but the tip nudges out a little. So every time it lands on the floor, I mean, this thing was a little under the body, but not much. You know, you have the screws, you know, when you're going in the dirt, laying on stuff, and it's constantly like hitting and pushing this thing up. So I didn't want constantly hitting rocks and other things and pushing up, landing in the grass. Uh, so, you know, because it's, I didn't, I didn't know if it, it's so close in the front to the, that, I don't know, get pushed up. So I added these. These are about a half an inch thick. They take it a half an inch off the floor. So when you land, you know, this is just further away. It's less stuff hitting it, less rocks, less dirt, you know. Now I have these pads on here. While you might be like, oh, you stupid. But, I mean, at least it's protecting that because that's on the bottom. I don't know why they left that open like that. I guess they couldn't come up with a better way. It didn't fit. But, so now I have that. That's just to protect that. I also have a piece of tape so it doesn't ever hang further. It, it's kind of taped where it's at. It doesn't, it doesn't move. Um, I also put a little bit of glue on the camera mount because it used to be able to shift and move and I get jello with this polar. So I tightened these screws down real good so this is tight. I noticed the mount was able to move a little so I kind of put a little bit of epoxy glue, dabbed it in there just so the mount doesn't move. It's going to be a pain if, when I have to take this off because I might be putting a Nebula, a Nebula Pro on this. but. I'm trying to get rid of the damn jello for now that, that I have on it on real sunny days. I'm also trying to get the tune a little better. I put RPM filter on it and I never tested full throttle. Now it's, it vibrates full throttle. I tweaked the tune so the vibration went down a lot. But now I also made the adjustment. Instead of 48 hertz, now it's, I brought it back down to 24 for RPM filter. Uh, I don't think it's going to affect the flight time much. Um, all my other bigger drones doing 24 and 48 has, doesn't seem to ever affect the flight time much so I don't think that's going to change the flight time at all but we'll see if it flies a little better at full throttle not that you're at full throttle much on a long range drone but you know I, I don't want the jello once it starts going up all right thank you let's go on to the rest of the video all right so this is the first one with the stock prop 7x4x3 all the flights are with the tattoo 6s 1300 milliamp battery to keep it even all flights are done averaging the same mile per hour i data log kept the sheet that i'll show at the end i have a link in the description uh, all the speeds average 24. Uh, so here we go all right so this is the end of the flight coming in uh, really low voltage but it still only brings it to 1106 if i landed at uh 20.8 volts it would have been uh, 1250. all right so here's the gem fan 7035 by blades and this is coming in also at low voltage at 1240 more than a minute more now here's the hq 7 by 3.5 tri blades uh same flight all average same speed and this one comes in 12.47 at a really low voltage here's a top speed run gem fan 7042 by blades
first wreck you see it hits 104 miles an hour. I was going down in altitude a little bit, but hit 104. So now I'm going to turn around and head back the other direction so we can kind of even it out in case there's any wind. You can also get an idea how fast it flies at the running throttles here too. And back the other direction it does 97 miles an hour. So it averages, it's like about 100 miles an hour, 101 miles an hour, top speed. Alright, so this is with a big battery. This is a 6S 2P 6000 milliamp on the 7 by 3.5 by 3 and it does 38 minutes 37 seconds 29 now this is with a hero 9 same same props actually no this is this is with the stock props this is the 7 by 4 where i got the other props um 6s 2p 6000 milliamp on the stock props it did uh 28 minutes between the stock props and the 7 by 3.5 there was like a two minute difference 36 versus 38 so i mean you might get an extra two minutes with the other props carrying the gopro maybe i mean the heavier weight maybe not nah, who knows but it did uh 28 minutes and round up to 12 seconds carrying a gopro hero 9 so flight times are pretty good i'll see if i can get some video climbing up some mountains and whatnot you know but thank you for watching the video. I'll have uh, more coming. I'm going to see if I can get the flight time longer. Try to see about bigger batteries. I also have an experiment I'm going to be doing with it. To see if uh, what I can do to increase the performance and flight time and everything. Well, thank you for watching.